Julie's World vlog. Hello. So I am in Columbus, Ohio, and this week on the vlog, you're going to come on the road trip with me. So there's buying a fabric, lots of fabric. Um, and then there's the trip here we drove through, well, obviously through Massachusetts into, I don't even remember the route, into New York. Uh, we obviously went through Connecticut at some point in that. Then there's Pennsylvania, West Virginia. We end up in Ohio. There's a visit to the Hershey factory. Um, I get my hair cut. I don't know if you can tell. Anyway, enjoy the week. Uh, we're going to show a little trailer we put together last night, just some of the stuff we've seen. And then uh, we're going to just show another movie that I thought would be fun for us to watch here. Um, I hope you'll hang out, and uh, thanks again for coming. I echo his yeah, okay. <laughs> I found this woman online named Wendy Brightbill on um, Instagram, and I started following her because I really liked her work. And so I decided to buy a painting from her Etsy shop, and I'm really excited to see what it looks like in person. So, and this is the moment. Here you go. So, here's the painting. There's a little thing. It says, "Thank you, hi Julie. Thank you so much for your order. I hope you love this piece as much as I do, Wendy." And let's open the plastic and see what it looks like. So it's wax and collage. So I'm uploading my podcast and it's a sort of uh, Star Wars themed upload. Uh, I don't know what you would even call that. Something to entertain you as you're doing it. <laughs> and the crow barn tomorrow. I haven't done any shopping for class and I'm supposed to bring 96 yards of fabric at a minimum with me. So we are here at Fabric Place Basement hoping that they have everything that I need. Fingers crossed. I'm having some major sticker shock. Like I'm losing my mind. I just spent a thousand dollars one thousand dollars on fabric for this stupid class if this is not the greatest class of my entire life one thousand dollars that's an amazing amount of money i when he, the bill came up i my mouth like dropped open you guys well now it doesn't matter that i can't buy a house because i can't afford a house <laughs> There is hope and love and belonging in your stories. And that is not an easy thing to do. And so last night we went to this fundraiser for My Life, My Choice, which is a great organization that helps um, girls who have been um, lured or trapped into basically the sex trade. So it's... Um, I mean, terrible, heartbreaking stories. I cried last night where young women who um, are 15, you know, and that's when they get out of the life, not when they get in. And this is 
a problem as one mother said last night you know from she's a white upper middle class um woman and she said if you think this can't happen to your family you are wrong so it was heartbreaking i gave money um the evening was very nice it was dedicated to my father and in his memory he had been on the board of the organization and given a lot of money and um started a fund actually to help them out as well so it was a good and moving night all around but it makes me so mad at why are these horrible people out there who do this to um these young girls i just don't I don't understand the psychology of it. Anyway, um, so, and then in other news, I'm just getting ready to pack up and head out of town. So I just got my nails done. Um, I went for a kind of like, I don't know, purpley, bluey, gray or something like that. So I'll be, have uh, perfectly nice nails for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Tonight is about women raising money. Uh, when I came to visit the women's lunch place um, a couple of months ago with Jody and Sarah, our general manager at uh, Oleana, um, the first thing on my mind was, we can't. Everybody's got to see this. It, we all we all have to do this. Everybody has to be together. This is the first time ever since we've all been all of our businesses have been in existence that these ladies are coming together and working together. So they all are responsible for running their own dining room and their own kitchen. And tonight they stepped out of that and are cooking and they each did a course for this meal. And to me, that's like the biggest heartwarming thing I can imagine. And it means a lot. So the good news is that we made it to Terrytown. So we're just outside of New York City. Um, the bad news is it's after 2 a.m. and everybody's exhausted. So going to bed. So I am headed to get my hair cut. I'm going to get a lot cut off, change the color. And Steve is going to the movies. We're in the middle of New York City. So here is my new hair. Smile. Alright, I'll smile for you. So, Steve went to see Deadpool while I was getting my hair cut. And what did you think of it? It's pretty fantastic. You will definitely go see it again. Was it as good as the first one? It was better than the first one. Wow, better than the first one. So I'm enjoying my straight hair, although I seem to have fuzzed it by leaning on Steve, so. Traffic getting out of New York was insane. Like to get into the Holland Tunnel, I think it took us an hour just to go like four blocks. So Steve's been such a trooper about doing all the driving. And then you guys, I directed us to the wrong hotel. So there's two Courtyard Marriott's in Hershey and I didn't pay attention to the address. So now we've got another 20 minute drive. He's actually not here. He's in um, Dwayne Reed getting something that he forgot, but I feel really terrible. I'm such a, I mean like this is an extra 20 minutes. So we are here at Hershey's Chocolate World. Yeah. And um, we're going on the chocolate tasting. Uh, it's pouring. So we sort of decided not to do the trolley tour, but we may change our minds and we're ready to be Willy Wonka. Is our chocolate river? I don't know, but we're going to do some damage. <laughs> Ready for just a little snack? Yeah, the tour's over. We're going home with this. <laughs> do you think they're giant inside? I don't know. So we're in the tasting room. Steve, how do you feel? Very excited. Uh, we didn't eat breakfast this morning. Our palates are clean. We're ready to go. Okay, Steve, what did you think of the chocolate tasting? It was very delicious. I actually thought it was interesting. They gave us a whole sort of language for tasting chocolate. I liked it. Thank you. Have a good day. Ready to smush it? You want me to do it here? Yeah. 
don't know if I can. Hold the cardboard. Eat, hurry. Uh, hurry. Uh, hurry. Is it worth it? Yeah. You make a better smart. So I literally never thought I would say this in my whole life, but I'm a little bit chocolated out. At least it's not raining anymore, but you know, we haven't eaten anything except for chocolate, so I kind of feel like I need something savory and maybe a vegetable. We've made it through Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and now we're in Ohio. And so we're almost at the hotel. Rocking some 80s volume in my hair apparently today. Uh, but we are gonna meet uh, my friends Joe and Joe for brunch. So I'm really excited about that. But first we're gonna do some errands, try to find a Target, maybe a Whole Foods, you know, all the good stuff. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. The first night at the um, Crow Barn, there was set up and then we had dinner. Um, I'm not allowed to take photos or video of anyone else's stuff. I can take some photos and stuff of mine, but I'm also really not supposed to take video, so I don't know how much how much vlogging there's gonna be, to be frank, I'll do my best. Um, but it was really good. I um, didn't cry yet, <laughs> and I sort of unpacked. I went to Walmart afterwards and I bought a table and some containers and some other stuff that I'm gonna need uh, for class, clearly. Uh, but uh, I'm sad to see Steve go. We had a really nice time with Joe and Joe earlier today, and I'm nervous and excited about tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I am teaching a couple classes in person coming up, so you can check that out on my website. I'm teaching in England. I'm teaching um, two different classes in Massachusetts. Um, yeah. Oh, and I'm going back to Whimsadoodle. Yay! In Florida. So check that out too. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week.